<clears throat> All right, Ghost, are we ready? Great. Rock. Yep. <laughs> uh, go, Gogs. Welcome to Movie the Podcast. That's right, Movie the Podcast. Nice. It is week two of It's, it's a Wonderful, wonderful life. life. I got it right. Uh, you did. It's all stab movies, all slice movies, all edge movies, all edgy movies for your edge lord boys. And that's and right. Gogs, Gogs during this whole month will be edging during every show. Yeah. Every oh single episode, I'm just on the cusp of orgasm. It's really <laughs> something to be seen. Uh, that sounds wildly uncomfortable. Oh, it's the worst. It's like kissing the needles in your dick. But here we are. So mm. welcome to movie the podcast, and we watched Blade Two. Blade the Two. Thank and guess what I can stand on? My opinion uh, on Blade 2. I, I oh, can't you're, to argue. You're yeah, ridiculous. I, I, I like the movie even more. I was like, yeah, this movie it's, fucking rocks. Yeah, I, I can't believe you're going to be ten toes down on Blade 2. Like like that. Ten, yeah, I'm ten toes down on how mid Blade oh 2 my, is. This oh, is. you're oh mid. Oh my god. <laughs> this is literally cue the winged serpent all over again. It is again. not. No, no, when this you time have I'm committed. Right. When you this are pot like, committed to an dude, opinion, I wanted to like it. I wanted to like it. That's not feel like you didn't. Because he he came around on Crawl. That is true. But I came around was a childhood. I came around, I came around yeah, but, on but that the, movie where you cried on the space tree. I came this, around on that movie. Oh, the fountain. Yeah, that's very yeah, but, but I feel like this Blade 2 uh, thing has been like the biggest sticking point in our relationship since Here's we've all deal. known each other as a group. Blade 2 is not well, good. Get ready for some more sticking. Ooh. Oh. Oh, based on his text, his earlier text, right? Oh, yeah. Or, are we talking about something else? Oh, no, based about on that my, too. Based on my feelings about Bleed too. Yeah, but you were wow. like you. But, a, were you was, an anti Blade Two person before, like to the extent Gogs was? Watching it now, I honestly don't know if I've ever seen it before. Oh, uh, I, okay. I, like I definitely there's definitely aspects of it I remember, but I feel like maybe I watched it. And it was like on like a party or something, and like I mean, that makes sense. the best way to like, watch any movie. <laughs> God knows, like when we were younger, I would have like parties. Like we'd always have oh, movies yeah. on. And it like, something playing. Yeah, and like absolutely. I'd pay half attention. Like it was probably at Vinny's house or something. I'd pay twenty five percent attention to it while it was on. And like, there's definitely some things that I remembered, but also a lot of shit that just confused the absolute See, shit out of me. Yeah, I'm really curious to hear That's your opinion because I know you like Del Toro movies like broadly. Like I know you love is... like the Hellboy movies. Del Toro's out of his lane on this one. Oh. All right, I can't wait to get into this. I, we gotta, we gotta get through the housekeeping first. So, what did y'all watch this week? I mean, a lot to come. A lot. To, stay tuned because <laughs> it, it, this is this promises to be the most v- volatile episode. This is a of heated movie episode podcast. of all the I, uh, I on. We're dying. I, I'm, I'm getting upset at, at this like double thumbs. Anyway, what did y'all watch this week? Uh, <laughs> uh, Alex. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't hear you say actually see my name. You cut out. <laughs> All right. I did the walk <laughs> in Alec. Alec. Um, Sorry. I watched two things. One is just Elf. Don't need to talk about Elf. Elf two is things. Excellent. Gogs talked about it a few weeks ago, and I reiterate all the same things. Like, Elf is superb. Very and uh, I'll go into a fun fact about Elf. Will Ferrell turned down. $29 million to make a sequel. Jesus. Can you imagine yeah. having that ability to say, nah, I'm good on 30 mil? Because he was like, I don't want to ruin this one and make another one. I'll turn you, down 30 I, mil. Alec, did you ever see the, the claymation one with the guy from the Big Bang Theory as the mm. voice of the titular elf? It's really fucking bad. No. God, I, don't, I, don't I honestly that? didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Huh. Which Does which guy from the Big Bad Theory? The, the not the, the one, one from not the one not from the one Roseanne. From Roseanne. <laughs> yeah, Sheldon, the guy that plays Sheldon. Was it that Young guy. Sheldon? That's my favorite version. Oh, shit, was it Young <laughs> Sheldon? No, it was Young Rock. Oh. As Sheldon, Dude, they should have a oh, crossover. <laughs> young, young Rock and Sheldon. Young Sheldon. That guy, and then Aaron Tilla, dude, kicks ass. I love that guy. And then, and then Chris Rock from the the Everybody Hates Chris. Everybody Hates all. Chris. It's like a multiverse. Like, thing. He's on a what's that show? I bet Alec watches it. Um, I think it's probably it's Ab- fifty years old. I have seen some of it. It's Abbott Elementary. Yeah, yeah. I've seen some of it. It's okay. He was yeah. on. Uh, he was a character I liked a lot on The Walking Dead, and then he got like one of the worst deaths. Oh yeah, on that I show. About that, you're right. 
like, oh my god, it's it like it still grosses me out just thinking about it. It's so bad. Um. um anyway, sorry. Yeah, no, elf. Blah 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 blah. Elf is good. God is good. God provides. Elf provides. Um, <laughs> god is good all the time. <laughs> Uh, the other thing I watched was another Christmas movie called uh, Deck the Halls, which oh. I don't know that I had seen before. And I've seen most Christmas movies. I guess, you know, I haven't seen most Christmas movies because Hallmark turns out 20 new ones. Yeah, every, they put, you know, out, they put right out like day. 30 every other day. Yeah, there's you, a young you've lady seen, in the city. It's, it's, it's fair to say you've seen most Christmas movies that are like actual movies, not yeah. the fucking you nonsense. Seen, not, like, not an accountant that marries a candleman from the country. Those like <laughs> infographics that show the covers of all those movies, and it's just yeah, the they, exact yeah, same yeah. cover like 400 times. A lot a of girl gingham. in a green sweater and a guy in a red sweater like yeah. looking at each other with snow in the background. Um, Deck the Halls oh. is uh is not bad. It's Who, uh, who's in Deck the Halls? It's a Matthew Broderick Ooh. and uh, Sir Daniel DeVito. Ooh, oh Matthew, shit! Um, you had me at Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito moves in across the street from Matthew Broderick and decides he feels like a failure with his life, so he's uh going to make his house the brightest house in the town, and then he decides he's going to make it so bright you can see it from space. Um, I might have high, seen this movie. In Sue, because Matthew Broderick is going to stick up his ass. and he yeah, He's a curmudgeon, right? Like, he doesn't want to be, but he loves, not, he loves Christmas, but he just he wants to did. love it his way. He <laughs> doesn't want uh, like cheesy decorations and shit. He wants um, like wholesome family type stuff. So uh, they like argue an and Christmas fight tree and situation. Yeah, they argue and fight, and it's like back and forth. And then by the end, they all love each other. It's, it's not. I'm, I'm making it seem like it's bad. It's not bad. It's like perfectly acceptable Christmas. It's, it's a perfectly cromulent Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah, it's something. It's like the story is not very different, but Danny DeVito is great, and Matthew Broderick is really good in it. Doesn't like the What's, whole town like get on DeVito's like, side at the end of it, like and like, like the whole time they're like, like a piece of shit and they're yeah. they're like on his side, and it becomes like his house becomes like an event. Like people drive their kids by there every night, and like he's getting on like the news for it. And Matthew Broderick's just like slowly going more and more insane because he can't believe that <laughs> oh. like the town is buying into it to the point that he's like cutting his power and like shit like that, like going over. Overnight, like in Black Ops, he like takes handfuls of snow and throws it in his breaker box. Very so, Israel of him. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's it's not bad. It's I feel like I'm getting this mixed up with a, a Tim Allen movie with some no plot no. Where... You're thinking of Christmas of the Cranks, and there's like yes. one there's one part of that story arc that involves house decorating that they don't want to participate in. So okay. they took that and they made an entire Matthew Broderick vehicle. Matthew Broderick, yeah, the Cranks, who is not John not. Cryer. Christmas of the Cranks is also not a bad movie. Not a bad movie, Christmas of the Cranks. Cryer ne- John Cryer never killed anybody with his car. <laughs> it was yeah, in Ireland. That. Different time. <laughs> not, which, was was it, Ireland. Well, it, was which that? Ireland? Because that's important to me. Is that him I'm thinking of from Ireland, or was that somebody yeah, else? Yeah, no, that was brother. Yeah, it was him. Yeah. He's a big Thatcher, right? Um, yeah. It was a political killing. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Um, yeah, that's part it, of it. Was, yeah. <laughs> um, wow. But that's it. Aside from, I got one more episode of Reacher to finish off Reacher. Nice. And Reacher's not bad. That guy, he's not a great actor, but he's good enough. And he's a weasel. Like, to do what he needs to do. But, like, he legit is, like, throwing people all over the place. And you're like, yeah, I believe that. Like, yeah, he's doing most of his acting with his traps. Guy, <laughs> I can see where this guy could, like, pick up a band and, like, crush him over his knee and throw him into a pool. Like, that's well, absolutely, that's absolutely believable. I don't know. A lot of them, a lot of the guys in prison say those actors are kind of gay, but yeah. I don't know. He seems pretty strong. Pretty strong to me. <laughs> God, I love that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Uh, TJ. Oh, I'm TJ. I watched two things. Two um, things? So, in uh, in my other podcast that I do with uh, one Chris Parks, Ooh. it's a little bite sized podcast called the Ooh. Dead Air Horror Review Show. I watched Silent Night, Deadly Night, 
Um, that's not the movie I want to talk about on this show. I had never seen Silent Night, Deadly Night. I don't know if you guys Darker. have, but it's a fucking masterpiece. It is a goddamn mess. Like, every scene is a travesty. It makes absolutely no sense. It's like a porno movie because it's all, like, violence and tits. This um, isn't the new Joel Kinnaman vehicle, is it? No, dude. Silent Night, Deadly Night came it's out like in like the 87. Yeah. yeah, it's, like, very well, what's old. The one where, what's one where RoboCop loses his voice and then kills everybody? I think it's called Silent Night, perhaps. Also, oh, that's just regular old... I'm, I don't remember. I heard it was really bad. John Woo directed it, of all people. Oh, uh, no. That guy is not great. Mission uh, Impossible 2 water. sucks. Yeah, don't let him do English stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Face Off is fun, but... Face Off um, is fun. Since when? You hate Face Off. No, you I mean, don't. I love Face Off. I like no, it. No, not you. I know you love it. No, he no, loves it too. I, mean, I, don't, I think it's a terrible movie, <laughs> like, but it's hilarious. Have you watched really? it lately? It's it's really funny. Like, yeah. it's stupid as shit. I mean, it's got a, a the mag, the future yeah, I, magnet. I know. I, I, I Wait till you pick me and I'll tell you about it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Watch you watch Face Off? Yeah, because awesome. we talked about it briefly for the last episode. We were talking about Nick That's Cassavetes. So that's yeah. So funny. Uh, anyway, yeah. no, I don't want to talk about Face Off or Silent Night Deadly Night Part One. I watched Silent Night Deadly Night Part Two because I was fascinated by this movie because they made four <laughs> sequels. Okay, wow. now we've watched we have watched a lot of terrible ass movies on this. That show. is correct. Okay. I have watched a movie that's terrible in a way I've never seen before. So Silent Night Deadly Night Part Two literally recaps the entire first movie. For 40 minutes. Oh. 40 minutes of screen time is just them showing is clips it, from the first movie. Uh, is it like movie. B-roll? Like they, it's like they actually just, no, like it's a clip. It's the same footage. Based. <laughs> <laughs> the person that's narrating this, half of the scenes, he he wasn't, he, it's like, um, what's the Jaw? Is it Jaws the Revenge where the wife is remembering scenes where she wasn't involved? Yeah, this it's is the, the same thing. The fourth one, yeah. Yeah, and in, in certain scenes in this movie, the narrator was actually an infant child, so somehow he's got, like, the fucking Dune memory where he's a baby and he's, like, oh, fully shit. cognizant or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, mom and anyway, the spice melange. <laughs> the fucking, the movie, I kid you not, guys, I was like, I mean, I watched this on, on Shudder, and I was like, are they ever going to get to, like, the actual movie? And when I realized what they're doing, I literally fast forwarded it till they got done talking about the first movie. It was 41 minutes and 34 seconds into the movie. The movie is under an hour and a half long. <laughs> How was the rest of it? How was the remaining terrible. 40 minutes? <laughs> it's terrible. They're fucking like, so the whole beginning of the movie is. There, is hey, is, pause real quick. When yeah. did this, I'm assuming this came out like the early 90s or something? It's again, I think like the first one was like 83, 84, something like that. This is like 86, 85. Does, something like can that. you tell the difference in the film quality between the, like, is it like one shot on video and one shot on film so it looks really different too? Well, it's funny you say that because that's a problem with the first film where it like has these weird, like in between cuts, it looks like two different cameras shot it. Like, and I don't know, I actually, it's funny because you're pretty good on that, like color balancing stuff. Like I need yeah. you to watch it to be like, okay. what did they do here? It was very odd. But anyway, um, don't watch Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Watch Part 1. It's a laugh riot. Part 2 will try your patience to no end. Like maybe if you didn't just watch part one, it wouldn't be as bad, but like they, I've never seen a movie like 40 minutes, like of run time. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Like legit 41 minutes and 34 seconds is just scenes from the first movie with nothing added. Like it's a, it's an interview with the, the, the killer's brother, but like those interview sequences last for like five seconds. And it's literally just like, then I remembered this. It's unbelievable. I've, I, I've never seen a movie like that. So it's it's awful, but it's kind of hilarious. Like it's like we 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 shot this movie. We only had a a day and a half to shoot a new movie. Well, I guess we got to do some padding. I don't know. Just show the first movie over again. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, it's great. Uh, and then I also watched uh the Marvels. Um, the the uh. new uh, I. I, I didn't hate it, but like, I didn't, like, I don't know how I get else to say this. Like, I didn't feel connected to what was going on on screen. Like, I just didn't care. 
Like, I didn't think it was terrible, but, like, I was just not invested at all. Like, I felt like the... I felt like the choice to go for a villain that, like, was just kind of there during the first one was a bad idea, because I didn't really care. Like, I thought her motivations were fine, but, like, I I just, I, I maybe it's the fatigue she of the movies. sort of has the same villain origin story as uh, Gyllenhaal from that Spider-Man movie, who did a good job, might I add. Gyllenhaal, like, Mysterio? When he was Mysterio, because he was just kind of there. Like hanging I mean, yeah, around, but and at least Mysterio fired. has like a cool gimmick, and I liked. I mean, I did like in Mysterio's kind of again, like it, it was. It was. I mean, as much as Marvel will ever gets deep, but it's kind of a commentary on like the surveillance state and that kind of thing. Like, I didn't mind that. I and I liked. There's like ideas in the Marvels that I like, like because Captain Marvel kind of in in what she did to the Kree homeworld kind of like doomed the fucking Kree. Dude, that was it. But how much better movie is it if it's just her <clears throat> dealing with the consequences of that? Yeah, I want that movie. Like and just I feel that like, as the movie. Yeah, it's a much better movie. Like I feel like that's kind of interesting. You were like a he, like I feel like there's a comic book story I read that's similar to that and I can't remember what it was, but like that's kind of a fun concept, right? Like you are you know, the Superman type character and you're fighting the evil villain, but you don't think of the consequences of what it does to everybody on the ground. It's kind of interesting, but the movie's not interested in telling you that story. It's too busy quipping everyone. Like it's, it's again, at this point it's, it is what it is, right? It's the meme, right? It's, it's so quippy. Like, and it's so, it's just, it's, it's marvel It's just how they write stuff now. And I don't, it's kind of lost its charm. Samuel Jackson is is I don't even know what his character is anymore. Like he's joking every five minutes. I'm like I don't know. Like again, did I think it was bad? Did I hate my time watching it? No, but it just kind of like it just kind of faded from my memory the minute that it was over, and I was just like, eh. Like I I don't know. It just it just didn't it didn't stick with me. I it I don't think it's terrible. Like I don't think it's. Eternal, like Eternals, I was like miserable watching. Apparently, like, it's I, such a tremendous bomb. They stopped reporting the box office numbers on it. I heard yeah, two weeks I mean, ago they stopped. Again, they just spend too much money on these fucking things. Like I, yeah. I mean, I you know, I talked about it. I actually saw a funny tweet today where I guess I guess Japanese film industry is a lot different than ours, and like the budget numbers aren't like readily available. But somebody was asked because Godzilla minus one is like a huge success. And I guess they talked to the director about the, the reported budget was $15 million. And the director said, I wish I had 15? that much money. $15 million is the reported budget for Godzilla minus one. Jesus and the director Christ. is claiming that his exact quote was, I wish I had that much money. So it was probably less than that. And I know you haven't seen it yet, but when you watch Godzilla minus one, tell me that visually it doesn't stand up to any fucking Marvel movie. Like, yeah, it doesn't have like, whirly gigs and lasers flying around every five seconds, but like who cares like you know what i mean like it looks great and it costs 15 million dollars whereas like i'm only using her because she's the star i'm not like one of these people that just like mindlessly hates her but like brie larson's fucking contract was probably 10 million dollars alone you know what i mean like i know it's a i and again like i people i don't know why they hate her so much like i don't get it but I, again, the movie was was fine. I just, I just, it didn't, it doesn't stand. But you know out. why people hate her? Like, you, you know the answer. You're just not saying it. Well, what? Because she's Cause a it's woman. All, it's all incel shit. That's why they hate uh-oh, her. Uh-oh. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm yeah not, I, I, I'm not, I have, I have no problem. I have no problem yeah, calling out incels. Yeah, like, I have my uh my qualms with like her as an actress in some things, but like I don't think she's like repellent you know no and she's been fine in these movies like she was good and i i mean i think i think that the first captain marvel was a better movie because it was a little bit more like i don't know propulsive i I don't know i again that one kind of washed away too so i don't know it was weird i like i didn't know how to feel about it once it was over i was just like i didn't hate it like i again like i i'm always drawn back to eternals where i like literally was just like when will this ever fucking end and i didn't feel that way with this one but it also like didn't, I don't know. It just didn't leave any real impact on me. What do you think uh, anyway. of the, the chemistry between the three? I actually thought that was like one of the better parts of them. I thought that was the, maybe uh, the, the best girl, part of the movie. Her, Aman, whatever her name. She's is. great. She's a star. She's like, I thought she's fantastic. I want give me a whole movie with her because she's probably the best. Her and honestly, when when all three of them were together, 
I thought they worked together really well. I did not like the fucking MacGuffin of them, like, doing the fucking power swapping. Like, I felt like that kind of got annoying. Like, it kind of was, like, the same joke over and over. And I was like, okay. But, like, honestly, them together, and that, I don't know that actress's name, the one that plays Kamala Khan. I mean, she's fantastic. I mean, she's got yeah tons of charisma. Like, I thought... And and the teaser at the end that they're going to do, like, a young event. I think you actually talked about it when you, you mentioned you talked about the movie a while ago. But they te- they're they teasing, like, a Young Avengers movie or maybe a TV show. And I'm like, yeah. I hope know. so. That'd be great. Because like, you, you got Cassie now. You got, yeah, you got, you got, you got a bunch Hawk, of them. Hawkeye. Like, give me that. Give me that all day long. Uh, I like but, you, Nick Fury's exact Yeah, it was speech fun. from – that. That, I mean, they kind of, I don't think anybody ever played it besides me, but like, if you got, if you, if you just played the storyline of the Avengers video game, they did kind of a similar plot with Kamala Kane. She's like a mega fan of the Avengers and I don't know, it's kind of endearing and I kind of like it. Like, I don't, I, I thought she was great. I honestly, like I'd watch a whole movie with her. Like I thought she was really good. I, again, I think that my main problem and uh, I, I'm going to what's the uh, what's what's uh, Xander Cruz's uh, assistant? What's his name? I can't remember the, the Wait, guy. Which one? The, Ashley? The, no, the one with the, the, the mustache guy, the guy, the guy that was in the office with him. I mean, without a pithy rejoinder, Phil leaves the room. I know. I can't remember his Is name, but he has that. He has that. No, no he's Phil talking is, about a harump. That's, yeah. Harump guy. What's that uh, guy's name? Sam. Stan. Stan. <laughs> Stan. So Stan, remember when, parents. Remember who when, were murdered. Oh, remember when? when <laughs> oh. You remember when? Uh, God, that show was so good. You remember when Xander was talking about Awesome X, and like yeah. he was making Awesome X, doll, X dolls, and Stan's like, no one's gonna give a shit about a hero without a villain to fight. That's yeah. how I felt about this movie. The villain was just there, and I felt like a Decepticon to your auto. Your auto butt. <laughs> I did like that actress that played the villain, though. I've seen her in some other stuff. She's good. It's just, I just didn't, I, I, the villain never felt like a real threat to me, I guess, is what I'm saying. I don't know. Even with a big you old mean, hammer? The hammer was cool, but we've seen the hammer before. I mean, it's the same thing that fucking, uh, what's his name had? Um, oh, the accuser. Yeah, Ronin. Well, she's an accuser, too, right? Like, is, is she not yeah, the basic, new accuser? Yeah. Well, yeah. the whole, the whole premise is that, like, again, like, through the court, the actions of the first movie, uh, Carol has like decimated the the Cree uh, homeworld. Like she she basically blotted out their son, and yeah. they're like all dying. Yeah, I she, like, uh, she blew up the Hala master control program. The Cree homeworld. Yeah, yeah she, she obliterated yeah. the supreme yeah. intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they're like fucked. So it sucks basically... because like that that like uh, Abbott and Lanning era cosmic Marvel shit with annihilation and all that stuff is so wild. Okay. Like it, it sucks okay. that they like kind of boiled it out, you know what I mean? Because that shit was yeah. super weird, too. Like, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't that be surprised if some of it comes around when, uh, with, like, Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. Yeah. yeah. They start yeah, introducing what, some of that stuff. What's the, what's the guy, what's the guy that looks like a bug that was with the Annihilation Wave? What's that guy's name? Terex? Anni- no. Annihilus. 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 That's his name. Yeah. He, yeah. he became, a, in the, in the Hickman run, he became a Fantastic Four villain. He was a big part of that. He was always a yeah. Fantastic Four villain, wasn't he? From, like, the, I, you know what? I think you're right. The yeah. negative zone. I think Not you're the right. Negative. Yeah. Is it the negative zone? Yeah, the negative is the negative zone. zone. Right. In DC, sure it's the phantom zone. I think is what. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, I wanted yeah. to make sure. It was God. But anyway, I, I don't know. Uh, one last thing I'm going to say about the Marvels, and it's more a, a critique on one of the places that I love to pirate films from, which is uh, Yiffy. I think the it's internet? called. It's where huh. it's where I get. Most of my parents. isn't that the code word for furries doing it? It is probably <laughs> no. It's it's I don't know. It's Y I F Y is where I get most of my files, and they they only post usually high quality stuff. But this the thing I downloaded was fucking um. It the visuals were great. Like the the it was like a web rip. Like the it was like 1080p. It looked great, but it was the audio track sounded like a a, a cam. Like you could hear people like coughing and well, maybe, chewing. Maybe maybe like, it's a, it's a rip from like a foreign thing, and they just laid the fucking the they audio might track over top of it. Because like at, at a certain point, I was like, "What is that sound?" And it was like literally somebody like chewing. I'm like, "What the fuck?" So you won't find more it on, on more on movies like the with audio problems later. 
<laughs> yeah, I deleted it off of the Plex because I was like, I'll wait till a good version comes out. But anyway, when it gets to Disney Plus, I don't know. Watch it. Don't. I don't know. Again, I I I just it's like a five. Like I just it's just gone. I I didn't. They there were a lot of they added more cats in this one, which I appreciated. But yeah, like Alex said, uh, watch the the Miss Marvel show because that that girl that plays Kamala Khan is is quite something. I thought she was really good. Uh, I wanted more. The show's better than movies. Obviously, shows are better than movies because you can build a lot more, do more character building. But it goes into like her religion and like uh, her back, her family's backstory and history, and like Pakistani lore. (laughs) Where this doesn't. Pakistani lore is surprisingly deep. Surprising. Um, uh, <laughs> anyway, that's all I watched. Uh, I, I'm up to date on the curse, which I highly recommend. Um, and uh, I'm going to turn it over to Sean, who apparently Ooh. watched Face Off. I did. I, I watched the basketball, so that was good. How's the basketball point. going? Uh, the in-season tournament's over. The Bucks lost to the Pacers in a really good game. I kind of hate Tyrese Halliburton's weird jump shot. There's um, some some guy that I only I again I don't really follow basketball but I only see like the meme related to basketball. I guess there's yeah. some some new guy his name's Zion and I guess he's really fat. Yeah, Zion Williamson. Name. Yeah. Yeah. Was he like a hot prospect out of college? Did his or foot yeah, explode out of, or something? Out of like, Duke. Years, a few years. Yeah, because he, he he they it was okay weird inside baseball about inside basketball. He <laughs> they found out that he was like pigeon toed. Like after they drafted him, so they're trying to teach is, him how to. It's where your feet mean? point towards each other. So Inwards, like instead of standing uh, straight, they like turn inward, and the guy's like two eighty, and also like he can't control his diet, and he uh, got in a scrape with uh, TJ. I'll appreciate this probably porn actress Mariah Mills. I don't know if you're familiar with her, but I know I am. I, and, uh, not by the name, but I will look her up. Yeah, go ahead. Anyway, continue. I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> But if you ever if if you're ever just mad at white people, just look up Zion Williamson's oh, high school oh, mixtape, yes. no, and I it's he's this grown ass man just dunking on these like tiny white kids. It's the funniest shit. But uh, he was like a lottery pick. Uh, he played a Duke for one year, and he's just been kind of a mess, like constantly hurt. I just but, like when just... he's when he's healthy, he's like tremendous. Oh, he's unstoppable. He can't, he's shooting, stay, like, he can't stay healthy. No, he's shooting like eighty percent from the floor. Like he's just yeah, he's like, like a, he's a, like, a like he's like a, a smaller version of Shaq. Yeah, but with more health issues early. Yeah. yeah so, anyway, that's, that's, talking, that's, of course, the, the Lakers. The Lakers won the fucking of course they season did. tournament. I really I'm thought the LeBron Patriots James. would blow them off the floor when I saw they were playing them, like the yeah. oldest team in the league. I thought they should be able to run them out of the gym. Nope. Not of course not. LeBron James is a fucking freak. Like, I, I know Alec doesn't like him, and I have my issues with him, but the guy's fucking 38 years old, and he's he still like playing He was, like, knocking down shots from half court and shit. Like, he was, like... I don't know if I, anything I makes I saw some highlights feel. of him playing there, like, Nothing playing like his kids are going to start. Than the fact that LeBron James is 38 years old and has kids. I remember, like, him coming in, and he was, like, the wonder kid. You yeah, know like his kid was... might be in the NBA next year. Like, that's how old we are. <laughs> I thought his kid had, like, a heart <laughs> attack or something. His kid is fucking brawny. Brawny. Like oh, they terrible. should just take one N Gog- out. Just named him Brony J. Brony. Get name your next kid Gogsy. Mm. Dude, that'd be sick. Dude, that would be cool. Gogsy. And it's a girl. It's, it's, it's a, a little lady. <laughs> no, you gotta stop <laughs> coming. That seems expensive. Uh, yeah, no. she's gonna have a heart attack and not play in the NBA. Oh. Uh, no, she can join the Lady Ballers. Um, yeah, oh, but she can join the yeah, Liberty. Christ. I, I watched that, that in, in a minute. Did you watch that? No, of course not. It, I'm talking about watch that. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. Online, and I'm like, it, should I watch it? And but I'm like, no. No, we're you gonna have to do a Daily Wire month. Like, is what's gonna have to happen. Yeah, it'll just it'll um, just have to be you. That'll have to be a, a side project for just you and me. I don't want to subjugate Gogs and Alex to that. What if one of them really likes them though? <laughs> like, Gogs gets red pilled. <laughs> Oh shit, Gogs is skilled and pilled. Uh, no, I, I watched, uh, to be red pilled. That'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I watched the, the John Woo classic? Hell uh, yeah. 1997's Face Off. Uh, that movie's really bad, but I, I love it. 
fucking in like fucks a with dumb it, do you not? Oh, I fucks with it a hundred percent. It's so fucking um, stupid. It was yeah. it was like the second John Woo movie I think I ever saw. Wow. That, well, I mean, we were sixteen yeah. when that came out, so I had seen Hard Boiled at like an older, like a friend's older brother was watching it. Yeah. And like, yeah, oh, yeah. that's cool. And I was like, oh, this is the same guy. And it's not the same caliber of movie, but I don't know. Uh, I, I'm going to take the temperature in the room. I don't know that there's a hotter woman in 1997 than Gina Gershon. Well, that's like, up, that's, a, that's I, a, I up a there, fan. up there with the Gina Gershons. Um, it's a. Uh, it's funny because it's a movie that takes place ostensibly in present day, but they have two pieces of technology that should be in like 3295. Like yeah. the the uh, titular face off technology is so asinine. Oh, so and like, 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 what do you think the fucking bill for this whole operation was? Because it has to be in the like hundreds of billions of dollars. Yeah, it could not have been like this wasn't their first operation. Like they've been. They've been swapping faces with test subjects for years now, just waiting for Caster Troy to well, present himself as a fucking I, corpse. Sean, I think we talked about this before a billion years ago, but wasn't like this a repurposed like science fiction movie? Like this was yeah, supposed I to be a lot so. more futuristic. I think it was supposed yeah. to take place like it's like like a RoboCop land, basically. Yeah. No, nineteen ninety eight. Fucking it's, bonkers. Isn't that a Robocop? And Caster Troy could not be like a more arch villain. Like he fucking no, takes a he, shot he, at he shoots at Sean Archer at a merry go round with his yeah. child at a fucking park. Like he's like it's like beyond Marvel levels of like arch. Well, and he has this fucking army of two fucking uh pistols, like they're all like uh, he was the first gold, one to have like those fucking DLC guns. Like those that was gold him. forty fives, those things oh, are fucking so right. fucking tight. When, Shout out like, to D Eagles. I love yeah. in um I love no, in that, that that Pedro Pascal movie has those. Like Oh, I saw you that the unbearable oh, you weight watch, of massive you talent or whatever. Watch that movie, that movie, you'll love it. It's so much fun. There's a part in the movie where he like un- unearths this Nick Cage like museum, and he has all these shrines, <laughs> and that's what, and he has. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the meme, but they made these hilarious like terrible wax figures of Travolta and Nick Cage, and he has like he doesn't have that one, but he has a rep like it's it's a reference to that. And yeah. uh, he's holding the the gold plated forty fives, which were sick as hell. Like, <laughs> so sick. Yeah, Nicholas Cage is threatening to eat out a young girl. Like, uh, everybody, yeah. everyone, every no one was safe from him. He's gonna eat you out. And the fucking uh, the uh, that the Gasden flag where it says please. It's not in the movie, but it's inspired by the movie. It says please don't put my face on your face and fuck my wife. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> no, but that's amazing. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> um, semi, semi-related, I saw a uh, one that was, uh, don't tread on me, I'll come. Which I thought was pretty good. Uh, but no, it's like, it's full of like the most archest of arch performances. I love uh, your boy Art of Self-Defense and uh, oh, who the hell did he play in this, that terrible Sopranos Alex movie? Troy? Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I forgot uh, he's in that. Yeah, I yeah. He's, he, yeah, he's the nerdy yeah. brother, the hacker. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's violent. Like it's it's you know it's it's definitely like I mean it's not a you know a typical John Woo movie, but for an American wild wildly and I did it on accident that time and widely released <laughs> movie, it's a lot more violent than shit that was coming out around that. It's fun, like. Oh, it, it is it is the the uh the better side to the uh face off broken arrow duology. Oh uh, yeah. Also better than uh something that came a few years after that, the replacement killers. A movie oh, yeah. I think I brought up on the show several times that I was so fucking excited was to broken see. Broken Arrow, John Woo? No, yes. it wasn't, but it was yeah, well, well, I never uh, when I think of yeah. face off, I never thought broken of arrow was broken John arrow. Woo. I always paired it with uh the rock. It's always the Rock and Con Air. It's the it's the Nick Cage oh, trilogy. Con Air, yeah, Con Air. Broken well, Arrow well, was the maybe first. maybe plebes go by actors, but real keynotes go by <laughs> directors. Uh, Broken Arrow was the first. Oh no, I'm sorry, the second uh, John Woo movie because he made that Van Damme movie that we watched, the Louisiana one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard, the oh, hard, hard target. target. Where yeah. uh, the, here punches that snake to death. 
That his name was Chance because his mom. Right, took you one. know what? Aside from Broken Arrow, I think all John Woo's American yeah. movies kind of rock. Mission Impossible. Well, if, no, if you shit. recall, though, Hard Target no, sucks heard. until the last ten minutes, and then it's like the yeah, best movie ever that, made. That last ten minutes was sick as hell. Eddie punched <laughs> that snake. <laughs> and remember, like the villain was like super gay. Yeah, <laughs> it was like it was the nineties. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I recommend Face Off. Like it's yeah, a fun, you have to. like it's a ton uh, of fun. What are you doing? Nick Cassavetes is still always. My house is getting fucked up. No more <laughs> cocoa for that guy. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, uh, anything uh, else, Sean? No, nah, that was it. Uh, oh, gobbles. Yeah. Let's hear your watched, weird opinions. I watched one and one half things. Um, I'll talk about the half thing first. <laughs> it's gonna take three sittings. Um, I'm. Gonna well, I'm getting ready to sit down. Wait a minute, you watch half a thing and it's gonna take three sittings, so you're gonna yes. watch the um, rest of it in quarters. <laughs> quarters? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna find out. Like I, we'll I can't see. even do the math. You guys are are way ahead of me on this one. I'm very confused. You got well, half a half. Thirty three and one third chance of watching this movie. <laughs> um, His dog is a genetic freak, and he's most certainly not, not normal. normal. He is not normal. <laughs> so you got a fifty fifty chance at best, uh, best of watching this movie. Uh, but anyway. So Kurt Angle, no, I watched yeah. most or a good chunk of John Wick Chapter Four, and it refuses to stop being a movie the, the longer I watch it. Wow, um, it wow. Is, I haven't watched it yet either. I I, I saw it, somebody was watching it on the Plex. I saw it at like fifty yeah. percent. Yeah, you saw, so, you yeah. saw me just <laughs> trudging through it. It's always it funny is. when uh, I see a movie watched on the Plex because I'm like, I wonder who's watching this. And well, it's going. like it's like was it a uh, Death Stranding or whatever those ones where you see the ghosts of the people leaving you mm-hmm. notes yeah. and shit. That's how I feel like the Plex is for us. So like it's like, it's, it's like Dark Souls, <laughs> try finger butthole. I'm gonna say that. As opposed to all the other movies we watched, re- I've watched recently, at least this has good action sequences in it. Like it's oh my, unbelievably God. violent. Like it is. Like John Wick is killing people. Like he's killing people in ways that are just like like the set is designed to make it take as long as possible. Like, God, like there's a scene where he's fighting. Hold on, there's a scene where he's fighting a bunch of like samurai assassins that are completely decked in like armor from head to toe. So he keeps mm-hmm. shooting at them. And they just keep, and then he has to go up and like grab them by the nose and jam a gun under their chin and blow their brains out. And like, that's pretty dope. I mean, you're not talking me out of it. Hell. And then they got, it's Wait, got uh, Scotty Karate Green? in a fat suit, like the penguin from the He's Batman. He's like the bad guy in that. Yeah. You were a you were a John Wick three fan. Right? I like John Wick three. I did. Oh, yes, sir. that's, that's so, me and Gogs are on that side. But I don't think I think we've fallen from Parabellum. I think John Wick two was the high water mark. And then three was kind of fun. And this one, I'm like, I'm saying it's going to take me three sittings to, to, to finish it up. Like the violence is cool, but like, I'm like, it's all the same thing. It's John Wick wants his freedom. Oh no, the high table. Oh no, the hotel. Oh no, Cedric Riddick shot now. Who for, or Lance Riddick's dead. Okay. Now the hotel's blown up. Oh, I mean, were you, make... were you hoping for it to be some kind of like weird character study? Like what I were your know. expectations? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was hoping for. I think they're like, like, they're not using Donnie Yen enough and they're using this other guy too much. And there's not a lot of John Wick in this John Wick movie. Like most of it's following Winston or it's following is, uh... Pennywise the clown. Like how just, is uh is is Rena uh she's ja- hot Japanese chick I think her name's Akira in the barely movie. in it uh, barely she's great da, fucking Donnie Yen's cool in it that guy who's in like Hero and I I don't know his name is a Japanese Dead actor Lee? <laughs> no uh the other dude um he's fine Peter in Petrelli? it nope not Peter Petrelli uh, not that hero um thank you. <laughs> Uh, save the cheerleaders, save the world. It's just like I don't know. I'll finish watching it. Oh, It'll you're talking about fine. you're talking about uh Haruki Sonata. I think he guy. was maybe Scorpion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's also guy. The, the guy in the um, Zack Snyder movie we all hated except for Alec. Yeah. Well, now, he was also a, in that now movie. Good, the, now there's a good movie. Mortal Kombat. He's also yeah. oh, Lord. No, he's I was talking about movie, uh, Life, the Army of the Dead all the time. Yeah. Yeah, Life. Yeah. He's great in Life. He's like yeah. Wait, Life or is he in Sunshine? Who's the captain in Sunshine? He was in Life. I think he might have been in both. He was in uh, The Last Samurai. He's great. He's a great actor. He's a good life. Like, this movie can't... Now, I don't know if it's because, like, I had insomnia and I just couldn't, like, it's whatever. But, like, I'll finish watching it. But it's, like, it's the... Thus far, really it's my surprised. least favorite John Wick movie. Because I've heard... I've, I've generally heard good things about the movie. So, I again, 
But it's one of those movies that's kind of weird for me because it's been on the Plex for months, and I've, yeah. like, actively just been like, eh, I feel like I it was a complete, like, I feel like when it came, got released, it got released out of nowhere. Like, oh, my God, John Wick 4, and you didn't hear it. Two weeks later, you didn't hear anything about it. Well, because then it kind of released, like, right after COVID broke or something, like, it's kind of a weird time. Mm-hmm. No, it released really like in uh, May. No, it came out oh, this okay. year. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, fuck me, then. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> You're but anyway, so much. Why don't you marry him? Uh, I, mean, hey, I mean, I you would. Know, you, 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 make no, you, you make no money on that. Killed. You're making. No I, I money like on that. I can't. I can't do your homework. I, I like that. I can't marry a fictional character because of the state in which I live. But you also get what well, a weird bar. You could marry him. You just can't. You can't say that you're. Gay. I can. I can fix him. Oh, sure. <laughs> Get him a dog. He'll feel better about it. But anyway. I got three. <laughs> okay. uh, any, so I'm going to finish watching else, that. Guys. Yeah, then I watched Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3. Oh, I can't wait for this. It's not good, unfortunately. Ooh, You're out of your God. fucking mind, dude. I don't know it's not it. good. Know. It's the it's, best one. It's the worst of the three. You're out of your I think it's the second mind. best one. I do not. Like, I watched it. I wanted to like it. I'm rooting for it. I'm like, this movie should be good. It's not. It's clunky. Like, there's shit that's just happening for no reason. Adam Warlock's there for who knows why. Like, I want to be invested in the Rocket story, but they're just all – it's the same problem I have with the the Marvels. It's clunky. It's underdeveloped. It's undercooked. Like, there needed to be more shit happening. And somehow less shit happening. Like you're complaining that happening. there's there needs to be more shit, but there's already you're saying there's, there's, there's too, too much, much shit, shit and not enough shit. Yes, exactly. I I'm, I need more blankets and less blankets. I just <laughs> didn't like. I don't. It didn't do how, it for me. How is like, the I rocket wish, story underdeveloped? It's the like rocket the whole story it's the heart is of the, the whole fucking movie. It is, but like then they try and tack on the whole Star Lord remorse thing, and then all this stuff it just keeps happening out of nowhere. No but one's the, explaining why. But the Star Lord t- it ties into the rocket thing. Like it's. it's it's a it's an yes and situation. Like he's connected to to his guilt about what happened to Rocket. So one leads to the other. Like it's I I don't really, I don't see where you're coming from on this. One I don't know, man. It's I didn't like I, I really like, don't. It's like and I then, wanted to be one of my top five movies of the year because I loved Guardians. I love Guardians too. And I was like, cool, Guardians three. I'm finally gonna sit down and watch this thing. And it's three hours long. And it's there's it's too much and not enough at the same time. Like, I don't know what it you was. You know, I'm really surprised because, like, sentimental movies usually do it for you. And I like, didn't shed a tear, and I'm a sap. I should have been. I The way you guys described it, I thought I'd be bawling my fucking eyes out. Uh, and I yeah. am I am basically dead inside, and I actually felt pretty emotional by the time yeah. that movie was over. No, well, maybe I just watched it in a bad headspace, but it did not. You must do have it. been. You you must. COVID must have. I mean, COVID did take away your taste. So clearly, took away your taste for film because uh, I mean that. I I don't I I don't know if I could disagree with you any harder because like I feel like the things that you pointed out as like weaknesses of the movie, I think are strengths. Like I feel like a, what was, this, what was is, the point of Adam Warlock? What was this the, is the worst? That? This is that. a worse opinion than Cue the Winged Serpent. I mean, this is a very like, this is a very odd three v one situation it, with this lineup. Of, I'm not what was the point? About it. What was the point of Adam Warlock? It's the same thing. Like he is another pawn. Like he he's trying like to he's like another basically... creation. Like he's a mirror to Rocket. Like yeah, yeah. exactly. Eh. And then he finds his meaning by the end of the eh. film. Like, I love and vivisection, <laughs> says Gogs. Moving the podcast. Like, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I, like, I, I thought the bad guy was interesting. I thought, like, that guy was, was kind great. of fun. Probably one of the best. That, it's a shame that, like, he, I hope, I mean. It's kind of uh, weird that he showed oh, By the some... way, uh, breaking news. Apparently more Jonathan Major shit come out. So uh-uh. uh, don't look good for him. But take, take that actor and make him some take kind of. High evolutionary. Make him. I yeah, well that actor's great. He's but they he's didn't also, like they didn't end him at the end. He's still around. No, but I'm I'm saying like make some kind of fucking oh he was actually another Kang or something or and you make him like because that actor is fucking awesome. Like he he's, he's good. I thought I mean him alone. I thought like, you were gonna. I thought you were gonna be like you know the, uh, the part where they go to the high evolutionary planets, kind of goofy. And like I could get with you on yes, that maybe. I, but it's like, goofy. Like they just yeah. land there and then like. <sighs> Catherine or whoever the goat woman is kind of just knows what's happening. And, oh, by the way, the spaceship village is right next door, and it's going to take off and nuke everything. It's like, what? Like, the part where the otter gets got fucking broke me up a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. And the seal with wheels, I liked him. 
the whole the, everything but, like, with the the rocket in the in the prison in the that with his little buddies that shit was terrible. Like that was just so heartbreaking. And they all those kids for no reason, and then they've got like I don't know. They marry up nowhere with the like they bring a whole they bring the whole planet there, and they like fight a building like ah. I don't. I don't get this one. I really don't. Like, I don't yeah, I'm very it. surprised. I'm very surprised. I wanted to like it. I really wanted I think to. Like that, it. I think it's. I think it's legit the second best one. Like I don't think it's yeah, the best one, damn. but I think it's the second best one. Like I really like. And not only that, like I felt like to do. Like I don't know. It made me like. And I think I said this initially, but it made me like really respect like everything that James Gunn did. Like it felt like a perfect ending for his little section. Yeah, they, the they didn't have to go back to status quo with Gamora. Like, mm-hmm. they recognized that this is a different person. They didn't have to get super involved with the other movies. Like, I thought, for what the situation was, I thought it was handled about as, as good as you could. It's a nice, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's closure, and that's cool. Peter Quill gets to see his grandpa again, who's still alive somehow, and is not like, oh my god, you've been in space for two decades. But, well, I mean, you know, a lot of shit's going on on Earth, too, in that time where he's probably a lot more I guess that's yeah. true. He's a little receptive to the idea that he could have been in space for two decades. Yeah, it's not like it's not like nothing else is going on. Yeah, yeah it's he not didn't like just come back like pre Iron Man, where right, he right, nothing right. Has happened. Nothing's ever happened to anyone. Oh, uh, but anyway, yeah, Guardians yeah. Three was a disappointment to me. Uh, maybe I'll, yeah. if I have another spare three hours, maybe I'll go see it again. But you got like, nothing but time. You got plenty of time. I don't know about that. Um, I'm still gonna watch the rest of John Wick Four, which is also three hours long. Why are all these movies three hours long? That uh, now that I agree with you. Movies with. almost four hours long. Yeah, it's funny. I put Fuck it on the guy. flex, but I'm like, I don't think I'm ever gonna watch it. What, what <laughs> like, movie? Like, sorry, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh like, yeah, Godzilla minus one. Is that under two? Tell me it's under also, two. Also. Uh, every time I hear Killers of the Flower Moon, I laugh because it sounds like that fake art movie that they talk about in Ghost World. It's like the, oh, the yeah, flower yeah. that drank the moon or something. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of, I think of that and I think of uh, Adaptation. Oh, yeah. What was what was their fucking it, – it, it was like the Orchid or something, right? It was some, it was like a like white a orchid. orchid. I forget. Yeah. That movie is fucking great. Yeah, um, they, should, anyway. they should make a sequel to that. <laughs> adaptations too. It's called adaptations. Mm. I, I think I've said this on the show. But Adaptation you know, begins. You know that originally the they want uh, Charlie Kaufman was going to make that fucking movie that Nicolas Cage was writing in that movie. Like oh, it was yeah. in pre it was in pre production, and I want to say it was like. There was some kind of weird snafu between him and I think like Weinstein or something. But he legit was Ooh. going to make it. Not like, that kind of, not the typical Weinstein weird stuff. <laughs> what was the movie? His word, it was called like The Two or something, where like the serial killer was the guy that was like yeah. the cop, or it was something fucking. Yeah, it's like it was like high tension. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> what didn't they give uh, the Oscar to Charlie Kaufman and his fake brother? He was like, nominated. He was nominated, but they didn't win. But oh, yes, okay. He's the only he's the only fictional character to ever be nominated for an Academy Award. That is a uh, there's a piece of trivia for you there. Yeah, suck mm. it, Shrek. Uh, nice. That movie fucking adaptation fucks. That movie is. If we ever do a, we've done a Nicolas Cage month. If we ever do another one. I'm like adaptation. Anything else, Cox? No, that's no. Right, right? Everybody that's it. I can't believe you like. We need to do a Nicolas Cage month like once a year just to keep up with all the yeah, movies. I agree. He makes I, actually, four that's years. a great idea. Yeah, it's quick, easy. quick I update. Feel like Nic- the, the book in adaptation is called The Orchid Thief. The fake movie is called The Three. The He's Three. Making, like, that's, oh, yeah, because yeah. there's a third aspect to his person. It might be The Victim. Like, this is something really <laughs> stupid. That movie is It's fucking like fucking that, that John Cusack fucking movie where he's it all takes place in his own head. The fucking oh, detective. Oh, oh, Identity. I used to yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have to confess. That movie right. sucks. Used, bro, when I was, like, 16, I was like, this movie fucking rules. <laughs> like, yeah, because so you have to be 16 to think it's good. <laughs> I can't lie. I used to think that movie was fucking cool as shit. I watched, I watched that as a oh adult. My God, it's like, a oh, place I'm... in his head the whole time. Dude, I was like, I'm so fucking stupid. Yeah, I know. Uh, did anybody anyway, watch what... Identity? Anybody know what Sean and I are I... talking about? Like that movie was no sick. Idea. Anyone oh be meaning me or Alec? Uh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. But yeah, that was one of those, like, when I bought every DVD yep. movies. That's, <laughs> yep. We've mentioned that, that period a lot. I definitely bought that at, like, a three for 15 bucks at oh, Best yeah. Buy yep. thing. Hell, hell yeah. All right, guys, uh, let's get to your opinion on Blade 2 so we can uh, get divorced. Let's go. I'm so, I'm Here so we mad go. at this. Blade I can't. Two. I can't. Get ready. This movie go sucks. Ahead. Here we go. It sucks movie opens out of your sucking. It starts Suck. sucking from Jump Street. Uh, we start with a sucky fight with some uh, all right, fucking all right, vampires. Right. Is this how it's going to be the whole time? No, not. I'll be honest about it. Go ahead. Movie sucks shit from the jump. Oh, so, like, you God. got vampires that are being dumb as fuck, and they're like, I don't want to jump off a building even though we're immortal and we can't be hurt, so they do. And then there's a really dumb... Uh, That's not uh, even how the movie pause. starts. Hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Time out. My bad. Oh, uh, let's, let's, re- let's, let's run oh it back two this seconds. Good, let's get to an even dumber this. conceit. Here's a stupider oh conceit. Go Some ahead. jackass shows up in a subway with a fucking... With a, a mason jar full of blood, and he sits down next to some other hobo, and he's like, they'll pay you anything for your blood. And they're like, how about you, Mr. Varick? You come on back. And he walks past every torture scene from a uh, hostel, and then they sit him down, and they go, you have a very rare phenotype. You're a vampire. Oh, wait, we don't know you're a vampire, even though we're a blood bank run by vampires, but we're going to suck you dry anyway with our needle hands. Then his face explodes, and a monster knew he was, jumps out of his how do, Wait, time out, time out. Why do you don't they? It's not that they said they didn't know he's a vampire. They have he has an odd. He has like a he has, he has kind an of odd weird phenotype, blood. and they want to harvest his blood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why so why would they want to harvest so a vampire's blood? Because they want to study it. How, Fair like, enough. How they is are scientists. Yeah, yeah, they're scientists. Like, they're not just a, also, not, see, just, also, it's also, just also, a hang on, hang on. Pause, 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 pause. Let me, let me get mine first, going back. Okay. Um, vampires can be hurt. Like, we've established that, that that shit is painful when it happens to them, and they would probably like to avoid being harmed if they it could. Happened the fir- it happened in the first yeah. movie. But, but also, a blood bank is just a, it's just, it's just a juice bar for vampires. Like, that's all this place is. No, right? there was a fucking blood rave with blood hoses in the first that movie. Like, why are you drawing this weird line? I'm not. I'm just saying it's a stupid idea. So then they go and try and harvest You had the his, same idea in the first face, movie. His face explodes. And okay. it turns out he's got a little monster mouth in him. So then okay. he goes and eats everyone's ass and Dogs, tips, what's your right? favorite movie? Of all time, Big Trouble in China. Okay, what where does Alien rank in your favorite movies? Alien top three. Okay, oh, in your top three movie, does the, one of the monsters have a little mouth that Man, explodes? It's so much better done. It's not. It does not dress like a. Let, let's just get through the movie, and then we can talk about how it's not good. Go so ahead. then, go so he eats everyone's face and ass off, and all the vampires go, "Oh no, this guy's here to eat all our faces and asses off." Now Blade chases some guys off a building. Now he has a motorcycle fight with them, and he's like, "Where is he?" It's like, "I'll tell you." And then he says, "Okay, great." And then they go to another guy's house, and he's snorting liquid bl- or crystal blood, like a cocaine, and which is hilarious. Sh- it's it great. Is, yeah, the, the blood cocaine's great. Blood, blood cocaine. cocaine. I know it's it's mad at blood cocaine. cocaine. That shit that that shit he was snorting looked like the red like cake decorating crystals. Could you imagine? Yeah, or pixel sticks. Like, yeah, it's like big, cinnamon that out. big. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they're oh, short and good. He zaps a bunch of dudes, and then he's like, where's Whistler? And they're like, we keep him in this tube. So then they go to the Whistler tube, and they unlock the Whistler tube, and uh, he takes him back to Boondock Saints' house. And he's got his own torture chamber with a bunch of, like, manacles on the wall. And Blade just has the cure of vampirism on him because he just has that now. They so had it shoots, in the last movie. So he Do shoots not, it. Did you he's not got, watch the last movie? He's not movie? curing vampires, my guy. He's out here just they murdering dudes. The, the, the blood scientist cured oh herself. My God. Doggy. Like, so then, so just, then, I, like, this feels like oh you're, you were pot committed you to not liking so this, trying. and now you're pulling at weird threads. No, yeah. I'm, I'm just telling you what the movie does. So he sticks him with this thing, and he tells him, literally tells him, walk off lupus. Otherwise, you're going to get annihilated by the sun. Come for a sun, like for, come sunrise. So Whistler but doesn't, doesn't, it, Whistler doesn't fucking, it pause? Doesn't it make sense that he would have all of this shit in his Punisher lair? Yeah, I guess. But I thought his Punisher lair was mobile because I thought he was in like Eastern Europe right now or some such. But they they, they set, set up, up a base camp just like they set up in the. Like, I guess he got on a plane the last anyway. Movie? Doesn't matter. So here we go. So he cures <laughs> Whistler, and now Whistler's friends with Boondock Saints, and they're like, hey. I went so not back correct. Friends. Yeah, not they, friends at all. They, they, they hate they, each they other. They form a begrudging respect. So then they're hanging out, having a good time, and then the night bunch shows up, creeping and crawling through the windows and walls, and they got swords, and they're like, hey, Blade, 
we are offering you a vampire treaty. And they hand him a tube. And he's like, all right, I'll see your tube. And I'll go to your secret fortress. So he goes to their secret fortress. And Dr. Akil is there. And he's like, there's a big problem with the vampire community. There's these people that are exploding their faces and eating vampires. Help us, Blade. And he's like, all right. Bet. <laughs> Sounds like the Count from Sesame Street. <laughs> he so, also, like, again, like, uh, they're like by the way, really it's the, what it's happened. The but, okay. We also, in, also, <laughs> also, it is implied and revealed later in the movie that Blade's already aware of this setup. Yeah. He's aware so, of like, everything him, all the time. Okay. Uh, but can we, the sword, the two-on-one sword fight. The CGI bonanza? Oh my god, the CGI is so bad. It's so fucking bad in this like, movie. Why you know what? That? Like, like you know, I, you I know, loved it. I you know what? Awesome. Like, Zipes can sword fight, but the CGI it looks. That's my the biggest CGI, problem. Why with bother it? CGIing it? Because it's, it's like, like, it's, because like it's, it's super junk. over the top and comedy. No, because what's his you name doesn't want to shoot action. Like, but because, Toro, because I, I, Guillermo del Toro does not shoot action. I guess because I knew, like, that that CG's really bad, it bothered me less this time. And it's not right. nearly as, like, per- pervasive. I mean, you're talking about, like, in, during the course of that whole fight, maybe six or seven seconds of actual, like, CG effects. And, yeah, they're bad. Like, it turns into, like, a Gumby man. Like, he well, I mean, that was such. That was six or seven seconds out of the, like, two minutes I paid attention. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, I mean, so anyway. you're talking, again, in the last movie, I mean, can I can I bring you back to the Steven Dorff, like, <laughs> blood stretchy man? I mean, like, the effects really, like. Look, I'm the fights, look, I will. Can we not agree that the fight scenes in Blade One are better than the fight scenes in Blade Two? No, I disagree. Yeah, no. Okay, well then, disagree completely. Agree. I, to disagree. I will. I will proffer the agreement that maybe the photography isn't as good because it's not as wide as it is in the first one. It's but all way too tight. tight. But, but, you're in but the choreography is a lot more complicated in this one than it is yeah. in the first one. So, like, it's kind of a yeah. push. Yeah, but like yeah. all the fight scenes are shot so tight, you can't see what you can't have fun with what anyone's doing. I don't agree with that, especially I, like in the scene you're just talking about. It's not like that at all. Well, when they finally pull out, all you see is CGI. No, the CGI stuff is when they're like coming in, like coming off the roof and all that shit. And then no, some of the fighting stuff that they're doing shit. when they pan, yeah, they pan out. They do like some like CGI stuff, but again, like it's very quick. Like Sean said, these are in like. Like half frames and shit. I, I, I don't yeah, it's, it's like interstitial. It's not like it's like the fucking the, fight in Matrix Two where it's like all, all CG. Is the CGI the burly uh, brawl as they did call not work out. <laughs> yeah, the burly brawl. But again, again, too, like it's very, it's like it's. I think it's intentional how over the top it all is. I mean, I don't. Well, feel I don't. Like I, don't it, think I, the, I, mean, I don't think the animation is intentionally bad. I think that like it is like meant to be like a very over the top. Because like. Go ahead. I'll, go ahead and finish. Go ahead. I'm yeah, going to let you finish. Right. It'll be quick. Here we go. So they're like, hey, here's the Night Bunch. The Night Bunch is wearing this armor, and they've been training the their whole pack. life. For, Give respect. To be, you know they're called the Blood do. Pack. So, so they're like, it looks like. Also, they like, haven't been training their whole life. They've been, tra- they've been like, training they their whole life stay. to fight Blade. They did not play their whole life. They said, like, like two years. years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Like, fine. Like, this, community, ca- this community college campus goth they're, club. Because they're, they're 10 billion years, years old. What does four years just, mean to them? And then, yeah, like, exactly. one guy maybe is Maori, and one guy is from D Antwerp, and that, one guy is a the, very the, femme Donnie Yen. And then one guy is from Fast and the Furious, and one guy's name is Priest. And then you've got the best part of this entire movie, which is Reinhardt, which is played by uh, our boy Hellboy, whose He's name great. escapes me. Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman. Yeah. He's great. So, so they're like, all right, so now we're going to go. We got What are we going to do? Well, we got to hunt vampires. Well, we're going to hunt vampires and hunt vampires. Well, we're going to go where the vampires are. Well, where the vampires are. They're at the club. All right, let's go to the club. And they Why go to the only club. Of Robert Downey Jr. from Tropic. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're really towing the line on that impression. <laughs> <laughs> they go to the only club, I guess, in Bulgaria, and it just happens to be they're where the Romania. are hiding underneath. They're in Romania. And well, they're, like, well, they're first, wandering again, around, dude, hanging up their really vamps cans. So first of all, hold on, yeah. stop. So, so you're acting like them going to this giant club filled with vampires in where they – like the, the, the super vampires, whatever you call them, they're already in that location. But they had – yeah, so they were like going there. Doesn't it, – it makes perfect sense. Where else – like what do you mean? Like 
they just happened to like, we're going to have to hunt them down. They didn't have to hunt. They didn't have to, they just show up to one what place. The, where, what do you want them to do? They Look they for go, things. Do you want oh, it to be a video what? game where they go to three different locations Jeez, just because oh, you yeah, have to that? activate the cutscene? They, yeah. they, like, they go to the nightclub. And everyone's getting their spines ripped out and stuff. And there's surgical instruments everywhere. And it looks like something out of the crow. And then these guys are up from the ground. And they figure out that silver and garlic don't work on them. Only light works on them. And Priest catches one in the neck and gets his face and dick sucked off. And then uh, the big guy, Light Hammer, he's in the kitchen. And he hammers a dude in the chest. And then after he thinks he's hammered dude in the chest enough, that dude jumps and gets him in the neck. But he hi- he hides it from DeAntwerp. That, and then they go fucking, back to the lab that again. That weapon is so stupid. I'm that sorry. weapon is dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's not there for Clint. And, like, his armor it is, is dumb. The, the weapon is so, like, like it, it reminds me. Unwieldy. Well, it also, but it also just reminds me like a video game, you know, when you get like oh yeah, we're in class and like, it's one so class. slow, <laughs> right. and it's like I'm just gonna use the two it's swords even switch. though they're like half the fucking strength. He got a yeah. switchblade sledgehammer. Shit's bananas. So yeah, it was it was very silly. Now one of my favorite parts in the whole movie happens in this scene because at some point Chupa and Sean told us that means sucks. Uh, <laughs> unloads with his like AR with like two giant drum barrels on it, trying to kill one of these reapers. And he just sprays down a bunch of club goers, and they just turn into dust. I'm like, ah, that's 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 neat. Yeah. So, so this movie is incredibly violent. Like it does get it. It earns its R rating. It gets. Oh <laughs> yeah. So then they, they take one of these reapers home, and they play with its mouth and heart, and they're like, all right, well, it's encased in. Uh, it's encased in bone, and its lungs will suck blood no matter what. And look at its mouth and mandible. Okay, cool. We're going back to the lab again and back to the sewers. So we're going back in the sewers, and we're going to split up three ways. And then Reinhardt – oh, no, but first we've got to figure out, oh, we can't use uh, any sort of silver or garlic. So we've got to make light grenades, and these light grenades are going to use physics in a way that physics doesn't work. More on that later. That's that's so, your problem. So you're now, really, you're like, oh my god, dude. So like, then they go back to the sewers and they got their light grenade bomb belts. And then Chupa and Reinhardt are like, Priest is dead. So now you're gonna get fucked, Whistler. So they start fucking Whistler in his mouth. And then uh, what's his name? <laughs> uh, Lighthammer finally turns and he uh, he he doesn't even get to fight a feminine Donnie Yen. He just sucks Donnie Yen in a in a tunnel. And then Dean yeah, would find him. Disappointing. They they Donnie got rid of Donnie got underused, man. Yeah, Donnie yeah, barely definitely. gets used the entire that. movie. I, I mean, that's that. that's a common that's a common problem with Donnie Yen in American movies. Full stop. But also, like, we, we have that same They're complaint. Using him. It's just uh, shout out, mean. shout out to Guillermo del Toro for just putting him in the movie. Period. Yeah. You know he's a big fucking film nerd, so he you know. Yeah. Would you think he would have used him? Like he would have taken like any well, of the who other Who knows? Parts. Who knows what yeah. that cut? You know, I didn't right, watch the exactly. fucking assembly cut of Blade. Like, what's his name? Assad, who's kind of was this Assad something like that? Like the one guy with the the guy with the cornrows. Yeah, the guy in the, looks like yeah. he's got like a werewolf yeah, situation. Like he yeah. he's kind of filling that same ninja role. Like you could have just but anyway, that, that that one guy, the one Don guy the one guy it's it's funny, the one guy the um I think the guy you're talking about, that guy was on Red Dwarf, which I was like I I couldn't like he plays he oh, plays a highly evolved he plays a highly evolved yeah. cat in Red Dwarf, and when I first saw, because in Red Dwarf he has the teeth, and I was like, did he play a vampire in Red Dwarf? I was like, no, he was what's he his name? Something cat. feline. Shout out, shout out to fucking Red Dwarf. That's a great show, by the way. If you ever want to watch some old BBC comedy, very funny. Well, so then D. Antwood finds out that Lighthammer's turned, so she goes up the sewers like Jason takes Manhattan, pops the, the lid. Of, for the rest up. of the, your synopsis, can you refer to D. Antwood as Run Lola Run? That's done. Well, she Lola dies here. Marvel <laughs> gets explode. Lola explode because sun shoots right down the tube and blows both them up. Uh, it's now, got a tube. Yeah. So this meanwhile, is, is Blade is hanging out with Nissa and and Steve. And Nissa's then, super hot, by the way. Yeah. And then everyone's fighting. Now all of a sudden, there's like so many of these. Uh, so many of these reapers are fighting them through the sewers. Zap, 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 boom, boom, boom. They're throwing their light grenades. They make the light grenade bomb explode. The light grenade bomb explodes and sends light fire around corners like light does, uh, and wipes out a whole bunch of these things. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, once, uh, the, the head reaper guy, Bartok or Slapnix or whatever the fuck his name is. Guys, finds- you should love this guy. He's in your favorite death race movies, the prison ones. Is he? Hey. Hey, yeah, Gogs. he's the lead in the yeah. whatever no the way. yeah 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 the one after shout out. Did did that guy remind you? I don't know why. It's something I know you'll you'll remember. But 
Did did that guy kind of remind you of the lead character in the video game Prototype? That's yeah, exactly of course. What I was yeah, about with the say. hood. Looks yeah, just like the guy from Prototype. Alex Mercer is the Alex Prototype Mercer. guy name. That guy was an edge lord too. You love um, Prototype. Dude, Prototype game. and Prototype too. I fucks with. Yeah, um, those are fun. So then, uh, then Alex Mercer, thank you for that, shows up and nope. gives Whistler a ring. He's like, "Ask my daddy about this ring," and then he leaves. So then Blade gets betrayed by everybody. So the Night Bunch has been dealing with uh with Boondock Saints for two years now to set up Blade to take him back to Dr. Acula. And he's like, hey, that bomb you put on the back of my oh. head, that's not really a bomb. Except I knew it was always going to be a betrayer. I, so it's always been a bomb. And Dr. Uh, fucking real quick, reason. before I forget, Dr. Yeah. Acula's assistant, the lawyer guy, Yeah, that's the guy that's not Guy Pierce who was in – um bulletproof monk and you were like that guy's that's not guy right it's yeah. the same actor because like, he, he, he does he does have a great line where they pick they see his familiar tattoos like you're a human he's like barely i'm a lawyer I'm a lawyer yeah, yeah that was a good line but i was like that's hilarious because that guy was in fucking of all people like bulletproof monk of all movies to have a connection to i was like wait a minute because i googled he's an all-star he's a he's a mole all-star he's a mole he's an all-star, all-star. I'm on the wall I, googled, I googled his name because i was like is that guy pierce and nope it's the guy that looks just yeah. like guy pierce so so they go back another to the, guy the, Pierce. They go back <laughs> right. to the part to the party fortress, and they're like, "Here's what we're doing, Blade. We're making stuff out of vampire goo, and here's my big wall of uh, of of fetuses. Of, of, of <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they look like they look like just Capri Suns. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take your Daywalker blood, which is the exact same plot from the last movie, and we're gonna make Daywalking vampires. And oh, by the way, uh, not we may have exactly the same exact plot same at all. We, and but, oh, by the way, we may have also made. Uh, the dude, because I was trying to make something that wouldn't well, suck it, so hard. Oh, I made something that wasn't May. It wasn't May. He specifically knows for sure. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm saying Dr. Acula was being cute about it. So then uh, He's taking uh, liberties. Yeah, so then Alex Mercer shows up, and they're beating the shit out of Blade, and then Blade cuts Reinhardt in half. And then uh, at some point, uh, the one dude uh, sucks Dr. Acula's neck to death, and then that guy's dead. And then Nissa gives up her neck, and she's like, yo, take me on. And then, then, then Blade and him fight. And they fight in this CGI mess with elbow drops and stupidness. And then eventually Your, Blade jams and I don't, I don't even feel like I him. know you anymore. Like, this should be, like, right up your alley, this whole fight scene. I don't get scenes, it. It's CGI. It's so CGI'd. It's so not good. This movie's I mean, the, movie's, the final scene in the last movie was CGI to death, and it was corny as shit. And this yeah, one, I don't know. One you have I a problem know, with? I don't know. I don't know what to do. It, I'm with Sean on this one. It makes no sense to like. I know. Draw I'll, these I'll, I'll tell you. Here's here's my my uh, summation of why he doesn't like it is because the uh-huh. tone of this movie is a lot more serious. Yeah. Uh, after correct. the first forty minutes, and the CGI, I think, makes him feel like it's incongruent. Well, the CGI, but the, the the plot is stupid. The movie is dumb. Like, and like the last movie had a dumb plot too. Don't get me wrong. Well, the last but movie the didn't have a plot. plot. But then yeah. give me no plot over this plot. Like, this is just stupid as hell. Like, they're like, we made a guy, sort of, maybe, but then we can't control him, sort of, maybe, but then we're gonna have an end game that doesn't really involve him at all. And also, hi hey Blade, how you doing? Like, wait a minute. So they, they the plot is very A to B. They're trying to make like a vampire race vampires. with no weaknesses. Correct. Right. They fucked up. Yeah. And it shit unraveled. It's the fucking you know Operation Janus. It's like the fucking the Sephiroth mm-hmm. thing. It's just the same thing that always happens. It's like a very simple, uh, cliched plot. Like I don't think it's stupid. Like it's not novel. Bad, but yeah. like. I'm just kidding. It's, 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 I don't. I don't get this at all. Like, I really don't. Like, you I could level the same it. problems with every problem you have with this movie is exactly the same as the first one. But like, I know, right? like a hundredfold it's in the first wild. movie. I don't get it. Like, I love the first movie. I don't know why. This if movie. Anything, is, this is a. This is like a real movie, whereas the first well, one was like yeah. barely a movie. And, and I was gonna say that. Like, and I guess we're done with the plot now. But like. The first oh, we're done with the half, half an hour of this movie is like kind of like the blade fuck around hour. And yeah. like, it's like, OK, well, th- I, I see what this is. And then all of a sudden it becomes like an actual movie, you know, f- you take it as you will, whether that's good or bad. But like yeah. it functions as an actual movie and it has like legitimate horror parts and like yeah. fucking like, you know. It's it's like the fucking descent in parts of it. Like that autopsy scene is really good. The fucking effects on that are solid. Gross. Like yeah, yeah the it has, scene is really cool. Yeah, like, it has it has janky CG in it, right? But like 
you could level that. You can't like automatically disqualify 15 years worth of movies because it has janky CGI. Like that's, you know, it's just one of those things that movies from this era have. And it's not like, you know, it's that whole like, um, we people always go with Alien Three. It's like, oh, there's all that CGI and it looks bad. And it's like there's barely any CGI in Alien Three. It's just that that part What's of the thing looks of. bad, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, like, exactly. but like, I think this is like a like a pretty decent actual movie, and it's a lot of fun, and it's crazy violent. Like, I'm I am flummoxed that you hate I this movie so much. I, I really don't get like it. it. I, I don't really get thought it my opinion would change. I genuinely did. I, I was don't get it. Going like, maybe this. Will, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just like you're Maybe. like it, it feels like you're arguing with your wife and like you're just picking every little thing you can just to like fucking be mad about like because no, I just that, didn't care for it. I can just no, but like but no, 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 no. I know like, that's fine that you don't like it, but like the things that you're pointing out are like shit that doesn't seem like you would normally be bothered by, especially yeah. like again. And we're gonna I guess keep hammering this. The last movie, which has all the same problems. Yeah, plus more, and they're degrees worse than this movie. So, like, and, is it just yeah. because it's not like fucking like 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 Teddy Bonkers goofy? Like the first one is that the issue? That might be it, honestly, because I just want it to be nuts. I think the first one set is, such an insane, it is pretty nuts. I mean, high bar. Like, I don't like, like, I don't, like there's like misstep. Like, like, do the, you? Does this movie like? This is gonna be a weird thought. Maybe, maybe this just be. Does this movie remind you of the Matrix sequels? Is that part of the reason you don't like it? Oof. Maybe. That's an interesting question. That's an interesting take because it possibly. is very aesthetically similar to at least the second Matrix movie. Oh, I think we oh, so maybe about I hate it by association. Talk, I think we talked I mean, about it last week, right? It like, could just be the, the aesthetic the Matrix, you don't like too. The you Matrix know? was a was a, a big influence, or the the or the, the Matrix was influenced was heavily a big by influence Blade. Yeah, Blade. We talked about that last week. Let's see, let's let the Alec decide. What do I you was think? just about to say, let's turn it over to Alec. He, I, well, he said he didn't pay attention to any of it, so you know what he thinks. I'm, you know, you were you were bored by this movie. I'm those shocked. Needle, those needle things at the beginning are so oh. impractical. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's like, weird. how do you do anything? That's you the stick same. Them in, but, and then your hand is stuck there. It, it, well, the whole the time. Robot, uh, the Robocop data spike. The needles in, oh, and then oh, go and yeah. do with other stuff. Or like it doesn't make any the, sense. Um, did you all play the? I think it was in the first Arkham game. The Scarecrow had those with his like fear toxin. Yeah. In them. Yeah, that was pretty sick. I don't know, dude. It's, it's like visually a weapon cool. Where you're trying to be mobile, if you're trying to like hit somebody with them and then go, I yeah. get it. But the person's tied to a chair, so you're literally stuck there draining with one them the whole time. Them. Just yeah. sucking. Like it just. It I mean, again, no though, it's it's goofy as shit. But I mean, it's it's a visual thing, right? Like it's just it's silly. Like the whole movie's silly. I mean, it's, even visually, like it didn't even have a glove. Like you'd think it would have a glove. Like <laughs> I didn't even friend. realize it didn't have a glove. They were yeah. Lucy tips. They were just things that go on tips. your fingertips. Yeah, it's not. It's not like a whole glove or some apparatus to hold it to your hand. You just stick your fingers into the needle things and jam them. I guess they're trying to look like Wolverine. Hmm. Um, um. So you couldn't pay attention during this movie. Uh, hold on, I, hold on. I'm, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking got, up my own format. Alec, hold on. Uh, Alec. <laughs> well, well, I already know this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. It's the first thing I thought of. It was your least favorite part. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Your least favorite part of this film, the CGI. Um, CGI was real bad. Yeah, it was Like, uh, again. It was, it was real bad. You could say it's a product of its time. I mean, and like, is. yeah, you see the mummy, the mummy returns and shit like that. But there's also a CGI we've seen from this time that's Jurassic perfectly Park. fine. And still hold yeah. up. But, like, also like, a, probably a, a triple the budget of this. Film. Also, most of Jurassic Park was animatronic, so. Yeah. But also, know, the, the budget like, of Jurassic Park was, like, a billion dollars. Yeah. Also, that new Jurassic Park survival game looks sick as hell. Looking for Is it to. Jurassic Park survival game? They announced it at the Video Game Awards. It looks really good. dope as shit. It does it? You seen the first person? Yeah, it's like Outlast. Like, you don't have any weapons. You just have to survive. It looks oh, fucking cool it's as like, shit. It's basically, Make another Dino Crisis, though. Yeah, it's, it's basically they forgot somebody on Ilsa Neblar. Yeah. <laughs> when they were leaving with Sam Neill and everybody, they forgot it, someone. It's a great premise, and I, I'm i like, I'm in. I was like, finally, like, this looks so good. Like, anyway, I'm sorry. That looks fucking badass. That's all I'm saying. It does look cool as shit. Um... 
but so yeah, man, CGI I was, took you out of it like I right really, away. I was really productive today because I didn't have to watch my movie while I watched my movie. I got yeah, so much other stuff so done. I'm surprised. I don't understand. I just don't get it. I, I mean, it's whatever. I but I'm surprised because I, I mean, know. and like you, you trade. You didn't feel this you, way about the first one. No, right? the first one was fun, but like yeah. the first one was like a blade. Yeah. The main female protagonist is also black. And this one, he's the only black guy, aside from the, like, fifth vampire down the pecking order. Yeah, possibly Egyptian daughter. I, I don't know what her ethnicity yeah, is. Yeah, like, <laughs> if I want to see, and I know this was made before they, <laughs> before George Lucas realized black people would see movies. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> you get a Blade movie, it should be full of black, like, there should be a lot of black people in it. Like, it should be... Like, it's a fair point. A black character. Yeah. Like, it's a fair point. Movies and fucking, yeah. Like, like the Luke Cage show. Like, I don't know if there's any white people in that show. Yeah, you'd have to set it somewhere else. Yeah. I guess Croatia or whatever really probably doesn't have. Like, two huge... in, in like Africa would be kind of sick. Like Fuck that. Yeah. I mean, you could just have it in Detroit. You don't have to go all the way to Africa. Well, I was thinking specifically of, like, Shaft in Africa, you know. That, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah well, I'm good. aware. I own or, it. <laughs> like, uh, what was, where were they in the beginning of a Casino Royale? Uh, I don't remember. I remember the scene. I don't remember what country it's Yeah, like. I remember that them scene. running through the, uh, awesome. like, that scene. Yeah, looked, like, a lot like, of over the cranes and shit. That's one of the other Nigeria. guys. Yeah, Maybe the that guy that it. he's chasing is one of the other guys that invented parkour. Right. Well, he's good at it. Oh, yeah. Was he from B thirteen? He wasn't in B thirteen though, was he? No, but he's so the 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 two guys. It's it, parkour is basically invented by those three guys. So yeah. anyway, B thirteen, good movie. That other the American Brick, version we watched, Brick Cities or whatever much. it was, Brick Mansion, Brick Mansions, not good. I, I not think good I think uh, Casino Royale was the Congo, the or the Democratic oh, okay. Republic of the Congo. That yeah, the chase scene in the beginning. Yeah, that movie was wrong. Yeah. Especially that opening scene. Blade there. to uh, less CGI, more black people. God, I am really surprised. Uh, your take is much more nuanced than than Gog's, which I, I and and I I I just I know Gog's very well, and I just just the way you've approached this, it's like I feel like you made up your mind before you ever watched the movie. I promise you, I didn't. Well, you know, but, like I don't bad, believe you. You literally like because every, everything you he well, had COVID true. and he hated everything you watched. He hated so. yeah. Guardians three and this. Maybe he needs to rewatch them all when he's not sick. What are you eating, by the way? Sugar babies. What's a sugar Ew. baby? Oh man, like you trying to not have teeth? Small version. Oh god, yeah, like, those things. Ugh. Yeah. Oh god. It's like even a harder taffy. <laughs> Is it like caramel? I thought they were like yeah, the caramel. caramel. Okay. Well, later, see a see a bridges, mm-hmm. see a dental work. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I I just can't wrap my head around this. I really can't. Like I, again, like it's like Sean I Lee wanted Joseph to all these movies I watched. I wanted to like. I want to make this well, perfectly I, clear. I mean, I get that. You, you like, know, I, I when Alec like recontextualizes first. the three movies we're talking about, you didn't like any of them. Like I I feel like you again. This is a headspace issue more than a movie issue. Maybe you don't like the movie. That's fine. But like. Like to the level you don't like these movies, it seems unusual for you. That's yeah, and, that's where I'm and at. And I mean, the, the point. No one else is surprised. Like, by, I mean, no one's more surprised like, by this than me. It's like, oh, the the first the first part of the movie is fucking stupid. It's like the blood bank was literally established in the first movie. Like, the what do you want? Don't, the fact that they don't know he's a vampire. They do. And they don't know. They, but like, should they be like on like high alert for these like mystery they vampires? They, they don't. Try, okay, first here, first pause, 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 pause. They over. Well, they, well, yeah. Pause. Ahead, there, there's ahead. no eight, there's no bolo for these weird vampire things. Cause I assume the guy's trying to keep it a secret. Second thing is if you as a regular person went to the doctor and they took your blood and you had some kind of phenotype that you were one quarter werewolf, they would probably want to study it even though they know you're a human. You know what I'm saying? Like if you had some yeah. kind of aberration, like I don't see that as being like a weird, you know what I mean? That doesn't seem like much of a shouldn't jump. He have like, like, but shouldn't he have like vampire also, shit in his blood? Like he's a vampire, they didn't, they right? Didn't, they didn't, they didn't they say it wasn't. They didn't say they didn't it wasn't there. Study him. Right. They just wanted to eat him. They just wanted to eat him. I don't think they wanted to eat him. That's, That's exactly they what the, they said. That's why they have the fucking glove. 
They must but they can't. Them. But they can't. But they they're vampires. They know they can't eat each other, right? Like yeah. they do know they can't eat each other. That's why it's stupid. He's there in the first place. And they didn't realize it. They should have been like, we can't stop this. Hold guy. on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. It's stupid. He's there in the first. He's there to fucking eat the vampires. He's there That's to fuck he's shit there. up. He's there yeah. to fuck shit up. The fact that they, they are stupid enough to let him get past the screening process is why? silly. Yeah, but they don't why know what he is. They don't know what he is. They're, he's, they're he's, curious. Va- he's, he, he's not, I assume, and he is a and, he is vampire made. There must be vampire tr- things about him. They found uh, something you, at, weird about him, and they want right, to they, they they state study that, him. obviously. Like, yeah. you know, we're presupposing they, that they have, like, all of this technology that would allow them also, to be like, oh, I can tell that there's a genetic code marker in here, blah, 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 that also, was assembled by this guy. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. The other thing is, if you've learned nothing else from these fucking movies, the vampires are fucking arrogant. Like, they don't think anything can touch them. So they're not going to take a lot of precautions because they don't think anything's going to... Like, even if this guy is something fucking weird, they're vampires. They're immortal. Nothing's going to fucking hurt them but Blade. So, like, it makes perfect sense that they're just like, I don't give a fuck. Like, let's see what the hell this is. I don't. Again, I don't see this as this huge plot hole. And, like, you pointed out that, like, the blood bank is, like, you know, he gets more graphic and shows it as being, like, disgusting. But, like, yeah, of course it's fucking disgusting. No, like, no problem. Dude, I have absolutely no problem with it being a disgusting fucking torture chamber. That's I'm good with that. Don't get me wrong. I think it's dumb that they seem to think that they were going to harvest blood from a vampire. I guess because he's got to have vampire know, traits. You don't know what they saw. They just saw something abnormal. All they say is they saw an abnormality in his blood. That's all they say. So... Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I mean, and, and again, like, like Sean, like Sean said, like, they're not, they're, they're one level of, of this place. They're not at like the highest level. And if this is something that has never been created before, they probably don't know what they're looking at. I, again, I, I don't know. It's a silly movie, but this is a weird hill to die on. It's, it's one like, of several hills, but keep going. Go ahead. All right. Five, five double shuffles. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I I don't even I don't even want to do this. Uh, go go ahead. Uh, somebody pick one. Who who called the five knuckle shuffle? Alex, God. go ahead. Please. Uh, it's a six. It's not particularly good. Wait, what? Yeah, was it a six? It's, it's not good. good. It's not. It's fucking mine. Blade. It's, it's six is not a good score. It's, you literally no, called it shit the whole time. How is it a six? That game's fine. It's a four. It's one of the two. That, thank you. At least that's consistent. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's not good. It's not better than the first one. It's fucking CGI'd all to hell. It's stupid. The plot is dumb, and I don't like any of the characters, oh. except for Reinhardt. I like Reinhardt. Reinhardt gets it whatever bump it gets. But it's not good. It's not a good movie. It's certainly not as good as the first one. It's better. I stand on that. <laughs> Alec. Uh... Well, I'm gonna give it a five. I'm not even gonna remember this movie. It's, I mean, honestly, I respect Alex's opinion more. <laughs> so at least he didn't pay attention to it. Like I get that. <laughs> Guys watched like, it intently and like hate. Like I feel the way I feel when I watch like right wing commentators just talk about just the most ridiculous bullshit. I'm like, what is he even talking about? That is exactly how putting I feel like. boxes in the kids' bedrooms. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Continue. No, like it's. I'm, I'm not even gonna remember it. I'll I'll, oh, I'll, I'll ignore a... this one and just remember Blade One fondly. That's fair. Um, All right. Yeah. Bah. Um. Ciao. Uh, I'm gonna give it a nine. Like, yeah. I do like it better than the first movie, but like, I can't give it a ten. It's got some jank and like some parts that could have been probably cut a little bit. But this, I kind of view this as kind of like the Desperado to Blades El Mariachi. Like, it's not like a, a really holy... Good, it's a great comparison, actually. Thank I like you. It it's yeah. not like a holy... Or a Silent Night 2 to the original Silent Night or whatever. <laughs> uh, it's not like... No, whole... This movie would have been way better if they spent 40 minutes recapping <laughs> Blade They would have showed a good movie in there. It, oh, but it God. takes all these, like, kind of disparate elements of the first one and goes, okay, let's boil this down. What are, what are we making, right? Like, it's an action horror movie. And, like, whether or not you found it scary as hell or whatever, like, is, you know, <laughs> mileage may vary. But but you can see that, like, okay, this is a horror movie and it functions as such, right? This is, you know, these are action scenes and they function as such. There is a plot... 
that is propulsive and like, you know, there's the the double cross and but none of it's like wildly out of place. Like when they do the reveals, I'm not like, oh, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, yeah. and again, you don't you feel, know, you don't feel te- like the the scene where Boondock Saints reveals that he's been working for them for two years seems like a bit of a like. Not really. Like I mean, that's, uh, two years is when they when they got uh, Whistler. So, like, wouldn't it make sense yeah. for them to like infiltrate his organization somehow? Like, and they couldn't get say it w- like that. Well, and well, what that makes... the movie says it like that. <laughs> I mean, I didn't make it up. And it even, it makes even more sense when you realize Blade was aware of it the whole time. Yeah, he's... I don't, I don't, I don't care I don't for think um... Blade knowing about it makes sense either. I don't care mean? for he's fucking Blade. Like he's trying. Like he, the whole point of him. Agreeing to do all that, like he's trying to get into like the fucking yeah, because like he did like, the first movie. He's trying to know. get closer to the top of the organization. Like that's why he he fucking he's in the same room with Doctor Acula, who I assume is like a high ranking right. vampire like, guy. You, you know, he's been doing this for how many years, and he just walks into this meeting. You know, I mean, he has a semtex or whatever, but like you know, for him to just walk if if this was the other way around, right, and like. He just walked into the meeting without knowing all the stuff. Be like, why the fuck would he do that? That's so fucking stupid. Like that would be right, a exactly. big thing. Or if he didn't already know about all this stuff, you could be like, okay, well, maybe it would make more sense if these things only ate vampires because, like, you know, the fact that you know they're like, uh, well, why would you help us? Like, you know, because right. the things also eat humans. But if he only ate vampires, it would be more of a conflict as to right. why Blade would give a shit. But again, because this is like an infiltration, you know. Uh, it's an infernal affairs kind of thing. Mm. Like he's trying to get up there and do whatever he's doing, right? So like it all makes sense. Like it, it's not perfect. I don't care for um, Death Stranding's fucking. I don't care for his character. Like, hey B, what's yeah. up B? You know that kind of. That's he's just an, he's annoying. Super annoying. Yeah. I, I find Whistler to be kind of superfluous in the movie. To be honest, like I don't know I, why they decided to bring him back. I think that I think that him and I think that Chris Christopherson and Wesley Snipes got really close on the set because I think because he I know for a fact that so the third one was supposed to be completely different than what it turned out to be. But I remember reading that like Snipes demanded that Whistler come back. So I wouldn't be surprised if he demanded that he comes back for this one. But he definitely yeah. feels tacked on. I feel like the yeah. first 10 minutes were like, uh, like we need a cold open. I mean, you can. Of, you- yeah, you can definitely get where you're going without either of those two characters. You like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but no, I think I think it's a really solid movie. And like visually, I think it's good. Like the CG, yeah, it's bad, but again, of its era. And like, yes, some movies had better CG, but like, uh, who gives a shit? I, I don't. Yeah. Again, oh, yeah. it, the whole movie isn't in CG. Like, you're talking about like interstitial frames of again maybe like 30 seconds in the entire movie like i don't I, that shit doesn't bother me like there's a villain that you understand and there's a second villain and then you know a, a resolution and like there aren't a bunch of weird loose ends and like what happens so like no i mean this is a, a perfectly serviceable script and it's a lot of fun to watch and visually i think it's good so like it's a nine for me yeah pj uh, it's also a nine for me, dog. I really like this movie a lot. And whereas, like, Blade 1 to me is, like, a canon movie, like, it's just a goofy mess. Like, it's it's not good, but it's a lot of fun. I feel like this is actually, like, a good movie. Like, it's, again, it's not high art, but it, it is to, if, if Blade 1 is a canon movie, then Blade 2 is kind of like a weird, like, Hong Kong action movie. Like, I feel like the action shot, it, again, like, not to keep harping on, but like for 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 Gugs to say the action scenes in this movie are shot poorly, like I don't I don't understand. You that don't at think all. they're shot too tight? No, I don't. I really, really? don't. Like, I, I think I think they could be wider. Like I will agree with you with that. But again, like I don't think the staging's bad at all. But like, I think and I don't think it's the whole thing is shot too tight. But there are definitely like, like all the you know what it is. You want to see the, are like you're right on their but you, shoulder. You know, you know what though? Like the the I'm sorry, TJ, to cut you off, but it's it starting to kind of put it together a little bit. Those where I noticed it being really tight was at the very beginning in those motorcycle yeah. fights, and I think that like kind of informed your whole viewing of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, th- I think the choreography, like to Sean said earlier in in the show, I think the choreography is better in this one. Like I think I, again, the fighting in the first one was great, but I think that there's and I like. I like the, I feel like this movie, again, like, this movie, this movie feels, because I think uh, Guillermo del Toro is just a better filmmaker than the previous guy. 
like it feels more confident, right? Like I like a lot of the the like the wilder stuff that happens, like the motorcycle fight or like the sewer fight. And again, this is I, I think like Guillermo del Toro is very good at mixing horror elements into his movies that aren't necessarily horror movies. I mean, obviously he does it with, with the Hellboy movies. He did it with Pan's Labyrinth and he does it with this where horror is not an easy thing to pull off. And I would say that the first movie doesn't do a great job. Like the first movie just feels like an action movie with a lot of blood. Whereas this movie, the first movie is like, not a horror movie, at but no. this movie has moments that feel like a fucking horror movie. And I think that's like really impressive. And overall, like, I just, I don't, I really enjoyed this movie a lot. Like I, I think like now in the, the, the scale of like Guillermo del Toro's oeuvre, like where does it rank? I'm not entirely sure. I think he's become a better filmmaker after it, but I think that like the gap between one and two is massive. Like I would, I, I think it's absurd to say that Blade one is better than this. Like I, it's again, it's like comparing like mission and action to like, I don't even fucking know the deer hunter or something. Like I, I don't even know what the movie that is. Mission Action is a uh, Vietnam. No, you uh, and a missing in action. You said Mission in Action. Oh, <laughs> Sean, mi- Mission in Action is some weird like uh, Coleco PC game <laughs> that came out. No, it's it's like the old Marvel amalgam books. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God, <laughs> missing in action. Like Dark Claw. I... Oh, fucking Dark Claw, yeah. dude. Well, Dark Claw. Um, uh, Super Soldier. Um. <laughs> I, I really like this movie a lot. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. I, I We didn't really talk about it, but, like, Wesley Snipes at times is fucking goofier in this movie than he was in the last movie. Like, Sean mentioned it, but, like, him him having all the plastic explosives under his belt and just kind of smiling. He has, like, a jacket. comical amount of fucking it's plastic fucking explosives. Hilarious. Also, like, the fact that he gets horny in this movie is funny to me. Because, like, at, at one point, he just decides that, uh, Dr. Acula's daughter, he's like, he cares about her, but it's just because she's hot, and I think yeah, that's kind of that's relatable. I mean, yeah, and she is, that is very based. hot. Don't get me wrong. God, you didn't, you didn't think the, the, all the people attacking him at the, right before Whistler commits, like, 30 abortions, like, you didn't think that was a good fight scene, where cool they're all too, fighting yeah. him one-on-one? Eh, I, I, I didn't, yeah, like, I, again, like, I was just... I, I feel like I you're already know. out of it by that point. Maybe, yeah. but I didn't like yeah. it. I'm, I, 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 well, I mean, I didn't I, like it. I the last don't. thing, I, the last thing I'm going to say is All that right. about the CGI, like one of my favorite, one of my favorite movies and a movie we've watched on the show is Itchy the Killer. And Attack that of the Clones. Oh. Horrendous CGI. But like, I love the movie. Like, I don't, I don't know, a scene here or there, it, it doesn't, it's not like, it's not like a movie that's like all CGI where it's like, I can't even watch this. Like a scene here or there is fine. And again, this movie, everything about this movie is over the top. So the goofy, like added animations of like ninjas flinging swords. I don't, I, it doesn't bother me. I don't know. It's just your mileage may vary obviously, but like, I, I don't really care. It doesn't really, it doesn't really sway me one way or another. Like I, again, I'm more impressed by the fact that this movie is way more a functional movie than the previous one. I think that the previous one was great because of style and this one is actually like well made. So I don't know. That's me. It's a nine. I, I really enjoyed it. I'm surprised about everybody else, but I thought this was going to be a three V one shock that it's a two V two. Um, but anyway, the classic mole hole split. I have a pick for next week. Uh, is it blade, blade of the immortal? It is not. It was going to be originally, but but faithful listener Kobe has Ooh. suggested this, and I like the pick so much. I had to. to uh, my pick next week is Highlander Two. Oh, okay. which does version? It have does it have to have uh, a blade in the title? I guess it doesn't. Does it? I mean, there have no. swords in the movie. It's all about swords. I, Alec, can you be the judge on this one? I, mean, sure I don't care. I was going to suggest we actually watch that. It's a Wonderful Knife movie that you posted the picture of. Have you read the, uh, have you watching, read the premise for it? No, but I'm watching it on my other show. So oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Chris Parks, go fuck yourself. Yeah.
I'm going to edit that out. But uh, um, anyway, yeah, his take uh, on Blade Two. I, uh, I I don't know Highlander Two. I think is I remember that I haven't seen that movie since I was like ten years old. I, I remember being totally confused by it. So I'm trying to make sense. Is it still Christopher Lambert? Yeah. yeah. And I yeah, it doesn't like, get to like Adrian whatever his name until like the third. Movie. I think they're like Talk time the traveling show. aliens in that the movie. Quickening. Yeah, they. Uh, it starts out in a wrestling event. I right. believe. <laughs> no, that's the first one. Oh, that's that the first one. one. First one sucks that's though. The, I I don't get people's fascination with the first one. The first one's terrible, and I think it was shot in Baltimore because if you watch the opening scene, there's a bunch of people with Oriole hats, which like has to be like why I want to say hats the second one. There's some kind of like they they scorch the sky type deal. Like I don't know if there's yeah. an ozone shield or some shit like that. It jumps, like, it, it jumps to 2024 according to the plot hell, on Wikipedia. Yes. So. I can't wait. And here's, right. here's what we're going to be dealing with: a budget of thirty-four million and a box office of fifteen point six. So hell yeah, strap in <laughs> for Highlander two. Why it reverse doubled its budget? That's Thanks, Kobe. You can go fuck yourself too. <laughs> hell yeah, I love uh, Kobe. Well, don't worry. The other, my other pick would have been Blade of the Immortal, and that'd have been another two v two episode. So I just fun. assumed somebody would say Blade. Oh of no, Earth. Gogs would like Blade of the Immortal. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't even know the man anymore. Now. I don't know the man anymore. Oh, I don't Blade think anybody the... should ever watch Blade Three. Like that's a fucking no. like. I saw that Blade in the theater. Blade. I want to say with with either both of you, with Gogs or Alec or, or one of you. I remember uh, seeing it in the theater and being very There's disappointed. Triple H vehicle, right? Triple H. Yeah. Parker um, Posey. Jessica no, no. Beal. Jessica Beal. So Parker and... Posey might be one of the vampires. Yeah, bad guy in it. Ryan Ryan Reynolds, I think is Ryan name. Reynolds, yeah, Hannibal yeah. King, yeah, Hannibal King. Oh God, yeah, that's no, a real I don't comic character. It. Like they didn't make that no, shit up for the movie. It. Yeah, was was Jessica Biel the vampire? She was Whistler's, Whistler's daughter. daughter. Right. Oh, uh, I Sean, what was the name of the? Remember that Warren Ellis comic where they had the vampire hunter? It was next. What was that? You remember I'm talking about? It was like oh a, yeah yeah. A, uh, was it Bloodstone? Yeah, something bloodstone, and she was like a yeah, vampire. No, it was hunter. um, it was fuck. What is that? It, uh, fuck. It it's really good. Machine Man, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't matter. Fuck. What Comic is, book what is podcast. That called? It's called something. Right, next. It doesn't matter. It doesn't oh, matter. that's the show. All right, everybody. Another long one. Gogs, fix your fucking attitude. Ah. Well, I guess don't forget <laughs> to edit that part out that you I said will. to edit. So remember that. <laughs> I will edit it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was still really he, funny though. He listens. I, you know, I don't need that hat. I don't need that in my life. Mm. Okay. Now, now everybody who listens and hears this part is gonna be like, "Who are they?" Talking oh, this about? is getting oh, edited out man. too. Oh, oh, come come on. On. He's he's edited. Edited out. Somebody say something funny so he can't edit it. Wizzle Next Wazzle. wave. Wazzle. That's the name of the comic <laughs> book. Next wave. Wazzle. That's Wazzle. it. That's it. Is that what passes uh, for comedy these days? All right. Later, bitches. Bye. Right. Bye. <laughs> say something funny like Bart would say.